morning. It's another beautiful day here on the Southern Downs. On my way to the dairy, doing my weekend stint as usual. Today I want to talk about an interesting topic that's just popped into my mind, and that is the question. Asking the question, is kindness weakness? I've seen a lot of things online, on YouTube, uh, all that, of people saying, oh, you shouldn't be a nice guy, why being a nice guy is weakness, you know, it turns women off, and all of that, and it's, it's just, it's just um, don't be a nice guy. There's this idea thrown around out there, and I understand where it comes from, I partially agree with it, but overall, like, I don't agree. Like, I think there's nothing wrong with showing kindness, with being a nice guy, and I'm, I'll be honest, I'm someone my natural state when I meet someone is like, I'll show kindness, I'll be a nice guy, okay? That's just who I am, all right? It's part of my personality. Not everyone has that in their personality, and that's okay. But for me, I do have it. Now, I understand where this whole idea that being kind is weak comes from. I totally get it, because there comes a point where when you're being kind to people or you're being just being nice to someone, it's like, if you're constantly giving to people and that you don't set boundaries, you don't look after yourself, it's like, unfortunately, there are people out there that will then take advantage of that. That's just a fact. So, I think with being kind to someone, you need, you need to learn to set proper boundaries. That's something I've struggled with for a lot of my life, where I'm just giving, 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 and then it's like, it just feel like I have nothing left for myself and then it's like a very codependent thing where like I get my sense of value and approval from doing things for others like that's that's a it's a it's a dangerous place to be in because you're constantly giving all your energy away to other people and then you have the, you have nothing left for yourself so you need it's like we need to learn to set those boundaries and be like all right well First of all, I need to prioritize my own health and take care of myself and then whatever I have left, okay, I'll give that to others. That's the best way to do it. It's like, to a certain degree, I've had to learn to become more selfish. What people, what some people call selfish. Like, I think there's a good type of selfishness and a bad type of selfishness. Like, there's nothing wrong with being selfish to the point where it's like you prioritize just your own health, your own happiness. I mean, as long as, as long as it doesn't, you know, hurt anyone else in any way there's nothing wrong with that like just focusing on yourself and all that the bad type of selfishness is where it's like you um, you seek to gain or you, you, you gain things like by taking advantage of others and it's like it comes at someone else's expense that's the bad type of selfishness okay so. anyway that's besides the point so I don't think kindness is weakness necessarily and I think a lot of uh, there's a lot of conflation a lot of these people Especially on YouTube that are like saying, oh, don't be a nice guy. It's like, I think it's, they're taking it to the, they're taking it too far. Like, another thing you have to take into account is different cultural approaches to this thing. Like, so I'm half Sri Lankan and um, in Sri Lanka, like many other uh, developing countries, like it's actually very normal for if you go over to someone's house, if you're a stranger, you go over to someone's house or whatever, you might ask for like say if you're a tourist you ask for directions or this and that like it's very normal that you might suddenly randomly be invited for to share a meal with people like people will like actually just invite a stranger will invite you in their home like that's a pretty normal thing over there and it's also in many other developing countries and like somewhere like here in Australia that's like a very strange concept like people here are much more suspicious and standoffish like there's not that there isn't that same sort of community and societal trust, especially in the, the West. I think we've lost that sort of connection between people. And it's like people are naturally more suspicious here. And yeah, anyway, it's like kindness. Like there's nothing wrong with being kind, really. Like I'm naturally a nice guy. Like if you're, if you're forcing it and if you're like have ulterior motives behind it or you just like... Because oftentimes I found when I am like really trying to force it it's like subconsciously it's because oh you know you, you actually do want something back from that person but you're not like you're not being honest you're not communicating it properly it's like there's nothing like being being kind where it's like okay i want i'll just give i'll like i'll give what i can give but i'm not going to like cross a certain line there's nothing wrong with that but if you're constantly giving and it's like you're draining all your energy that's when it becomes problematic and 
Yeah, I can see a dynamic like playing out at my workplace. There's been some issues at my work recently. Nothing with me, but just, yeah, I've been getting pretty frustrated um, at my new workplace, the, the automobile place. I'm not gonna say where I work or mention names or anything, but yeah, all right, I'll, I'll use this as an example, I guess. So, um, yeah, there's two work colleagues that are really frustrating me and frustrating other people as well. Uh, one of them is a is a young young apprentice. He's like, um, yeah. Anyway, he's he's, he's seventeen and he's like he's an apprentice there. I'm not gonna say what he does or who he is or anything. But anyway, he was given a chance to do an apprenticeship at the workplace, and yeah, he's just been like really like because like like he he didn't have he, he came from a rough pretty rough background all that and it's like they they chose to give him an opportunity to do this apprenticeship and this and that and yeah he's really been quite an asshole recently and he's like been taking advantage of people's kindness like a lot of times like when he's asked to do something and all that or you ask him for help or something he'll, he'll just like be really like talking back and like oh ugh, I didn't sign up for this like all this sort of stuff and like anyway he's been calling in sick a lot recently like constantly having all these excuses like on like the last three mondays when i've been working he's called in sick it's like oh car problems i can't come to work like all this stuff like bs and like he's anyway he's underage and he's having like um, we know he suspect like he's he's already he's already been drinking like pretty heavily even though he's underage and it's like i don't know suspect he's a suspect he's on something else as well like he's he's gone he's really gone down a not the right path let's say and it's like people are giving him all these opportunities right but he's just like rebuking all this kindness so in a sense he's like and i'm not going to go into details but anyway he's taking advantage of um other people and all that and then there's another working colleague there's an older woman she's in her she's older she's in her 50s but she like very immature like acts like a child and anyway like earlier on in the year she lost her license uh, because she was caught driving under the influence now not 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 drink driving like here in Australia they have very most states now like they have very strict policies against um, driving under the influence not just alcohol like uh, it's common here to do for police to do roadside random roadside breath tests and it's like they'll, they'll test you your level of alcohol in your blood and um, and also like they'll, they'll test for many many different things so anyway like she smokes weed right and yeah while she was under the influence of that like after smoking weed whatever it's like she got, she got stopped by police, did a roadside breath test, and they found that she was under the influence, and as a result, she lost her license, okay? And did to do a court, appear in court, all that stuff, because recreational cannabis is still illegal in Queensland. So, yeah, anyway, like, they do, they do, they, they, that's, that's a common thing here. And anyway, she's also, like, constantly playing the victim, like, um, and it's like, again, like, really abusing like like because of the kindness because like the the main the manager the boss like he's a nice like he's a genuinely nice guy like he's very fair like he'll give people chances and all that but oh i'm just gonna say it like he's quite a softy okay <laughs> he is like he um he's a conflict avoider like he's not he doesn't communicate to people directly and he very much avoids conflict so as a result the young apprentice and the other worker like they're taking advantage of that situation where okay there's not going to be they they sort of know there's not going to be many consequences i mean he, I found there's been a meeting called later on in the week and all that apparently well, there was a meeting just called it's done now but anyway apparently there's going to be some consequences but it's like Anyway, they, they, they've really been taking advantage of the situation. It's just been frustrating to work with these people because it's like, really, they're just, they're just constantly complaining, oh, this, that, like, oh, they're oh, I'm broke, or oh, I'm so hard done by, like, all that stuff. It's like, just take some, grow up, and take some responsibility. That's, that's what they're going to do. Anyway, so, yeah, my boss, my manager, is like, he's a, he's a genuinely nice guy but you can sort of see like he's a conflict avoider and he's like he doesn't he doesn't want to like prosecute these people 
but at a certain point it's like you, you have to set boundaries like like if you're kind to someone it's like okay and maybe they take advantage it's like, okay give them a warning and all that but at a certain level you've, you've, got, you've got to say no you've got to learn to say no and i'm i'm speaking to myself as well here because i've struggled with this as well in the past where i just don't know how to say no so overall it's like yeah i, I think nothing wrong with being a nice guy nothing wrong with being kind but you've got to learn to set boundaries that's a very important that's very important so yeah that's where I'm at. There's some BS going on at my work as well. I suspect the younger apprentice is on some sort of drugs. I don't know what, don't know what, don't care what. It's just, but it's clearly affecting his ability to work. And yeah, yeah, the other worker, it's just like, um, yeah, anyway, that was like a, half a year ago. And then now apparently she's got to go back to court again for whatever reason. Like she says this, says that, but. Yeah, we suspect that she's been done for drug dealing. So, yeah, yeah, it's really an issue out here. Ah, uh, yeah, anyway, it's like, I've, I've been watching places, like, things around the world, like, follow, shout out to Ian's Adventure from California. I mean, looking at what's going on in California, it's just absolutely crazy to watch what's going on in that place over there. I mean, we're not, we're not at that level over there. I mean, it's very safe out here. We don't have... We, we hardly have any crime and like you're not you're not gonna see drug use out in the open like i've seen in some videos in like california like it's, it's just crazy zombie land over there when it's not like that here but still like under the surface like it's definitely a problem but anyway that's it we'll, hopefully it'll be sorted and yeah life can go on <laughs>